Hello, I'm Andrew Lewis, and welcome to House of Iron 4, playing as Catholic Mexico in the 1.6.1 Ironclad expansion with the Man the Guns DLC. Anyway, we're fighting the Axis right now. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, we're slowly pushing in, but it's taking time. We are making headway, however. And over here, unfortunately, they still own a port, which I'm not particularly pleased over. And it looks like they've got more troops here. So we're going to have to do something about that, because I do not want them trying to start an invasion of uh, my actual homeland. Because, uh, well, that would be, that'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Also, I can't really bring my troops back, because the sea is contested. So, somewhere, we have fighters... Yes, you are just on Eastern Poland. Great. Bring you back over to here. And then we also have... Bombers that we could repurpose, maybe? Yeah, sure. We'll repurpose you. You aren't jet bombers, though. You're just normal strategic bombers. Oh, oh dear. Sure. You can come back over as well. Because we're going to have to nuke them. It's the only way we're going to get that port back. Right. Meanwhile, we're making a little bit of headway here. Oh, hello. Everyone's in formation today. Right. You go there. You go here. And you go here. Yeah. And you go here, hold them in place. Port strikes. We killed a, a cruiser and a destroyer. Nice, good job there. And I killed a sub here. Yeah, these ports are annoying. We are killing the important things, though. Slow in the circle and finish you off. Oh, hello. Looks like we're starting to lose this. That's not on. I mean, they do completely surround us, so... You can see why. Let's hope we could use this as, like, another front or something. Nah. I'm not giving them enough of credit. They surround us, they get that ridiculous bonus from surround, which is like, you lose a third of your defense in your attack. Yeah, I should have stuck, like, a lot more troops in there. Yep, that's gone. Damn it. And they didn't even get a chance to, like, leave via the port or anything. They just got murdered. Right. Where are the strategic bombers? Oh, they're still traveling, but they're traveling really slow because they're the old type of bomber. That would be why. 
Ah, uh, hello, hello, hello. That is a landing and they have two ports already. What? Okay. For a start, I don't know how you did that. But also, no. If you can hold Gothenburg, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, we have real progress here. We've got ourselves Liverpool. Got ourselves the medium technical bomber. And... Yes, we have it right. Hi there. I want one of you to head this way. And then we're just going to nuke this. I know we're launching nukes on, like, home soil, but it's got to be done. There we go. That's a heavy fighter. Another sub. Another sub. Now four subs. Now four subs. Ooh. And slowly our efficiency is going up. Okay. Yeah, we're crushing it here. Air power is also responsible for killing quite a few destroyers. Nice. Okay. Cutting you off from that port is going to be really helpful. So since you've gone inland, sure. You know what, I'm just going to tell you not to execute your battle plan. Like, you're meant to be doing it carefully so you won't really attack if you're going to lose, but you keep attacking. Like, still. You're still attacking. I, I, told, I told you to stop. There we go. doing up here yeah that's been taken over which means we're gonna get rid of this strategic bomber unit you're too old way too old you on the other hand we 
could get coverage on Denmark, that would be great. Keep that up. You're doing a good job up there as well. Bam. Bam. Done. We could help push into Turkey. But if we could invade Germany and end that, like, right now, that'd be great. That would be so good. Actually, yeah. Go and do that now. I think we can nuke Cardiff. Not that make much of a difference. No. Can't nuke Cardiff. Okay. Nine subs on a port strike there. Damn. Good go. Good go? Good, good going. Plural. There are many goings. Uh, right. Oh, nice. Quite a few kills there. Quite a few more kills there. That's 12 destroyers, 3 light cruisers. Yeah, keep that up. Mostly just pecking the German Navy to death right now. Which is absolutely fine. Right. I think you're going to get yourself a commander. You... We're probably going to move out of this army group. Because that means that we've got four units who can all do a naval invasion. And where do we want to do our naval invasions to? Hmm. I would love to do naval invasions across here. Land some naval invasions at Stettin, Lübeck, and then on the other side at Hamburg and Bremen. That immediately threatens Berlin, but we can't do the ones over this side because we can't get our ships in here to be able to support us. So anyone who goes in here is going to be immediately at the risk of getting murdered. Uh, we have to do all of our attacks over here, which is going to suck. So you in for that. You're in for that. We're going to go for a really tight grouping on naval invasion. Because we want to be able to support ourselves and each other as well as we can, really. Um, yeah, we'll do this one.
Those two are connected, so I won't worry as much about that. Oh, you can actually hit multiple ports there. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Feel free to hit like four ports. Whichever's the least defended, you might actually get. And you can do a similar thing there. Oh, you can hit Williams Haven as well? Okay. You hit Williams Haven. You don't hit Williams Haven. And then you don't hit there because we've got two people hitting there already. Can we hit? I wanted to hit like three here. I guess we'll go Sherberg and there. Sherberg and Le Havre. This is less supportive than I'd like. But if we're lucky, we might be able to get a whole load of ports along this coast. Prepare your naval invasions. I'd love to have like two more armies to be able to do, you know, six naval invasion armies at one point, which is kind of our max limit because we've got 150 limit for units. Oh, one sub. Ooh, 11 destroys. Yep, we killed that task force. It's going quite well there. Uh, right. What about... Yep, that's all good. You're expanding quite nicely. Uh, can we tell you to go any more aggressive with your attack? Yeah, we can. Yeah, go super aggressive. You're kind of crush... Hello? Is that 75%? No, that's 70%. Come on, get me to 75%. If you get me 75%, I can nuke. Do we have nukes in the area? We do. Nope, didn't mean to touch that. Uh... Yeah, we'll switch you down here. That might be enough to give us it. It is. Up to 90%. Sweet! Hi. Nuke London. Nuke Bristol. Nuke you. Nuke you. Also, nuke... This is kind of important. If you nuke their... Uh... I'm going to nuke these so they don't slow down us... Uh... Slow down us, slow us down as they go through these forts. Importantly, if we can nuke their airfields, they won't be able to send up uh, planes to stop us doing this again. There we go. They're bringing us below 100 nukes. Wow. What is this world?
Good job there. And they've stopped us. Yeah, they set up a lot more planes. But that should give us complete control. Uh, right, everyone's moving to their positions. I'd be tempted to move some people down so that they're attacking from Britain now. Yeah, let's do that. And same for you, and you're attacking to here. Just means we're putting less supply emphasis on it up here, and also we don't need to worry about this zone as well. Which means we should also move you to convoy escort. Oh, hello. What cheeky sod's doing this? And do they have a port? It doesn't look like it. Uh, oh god, how do we deal with this? <sighs> Speaking of which... Cheeky sods. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to cover more area with your defensive line. You need nine more units to do this effectively. Three more units to do this effectively. Ugh. It's going to get worse as I do this. Right. How do we get rid of this? Uh... No, there is a port there. Crap. We could decrease our invasion by an army. Have the army deal with that. I'm not keen on doing that because that really does blunt our spearhead. Taking an entire army away from that one. It's only four armies. <sighs> we could do. Hello. That's why this front line stalled. Some of our units have lost the ability to be on the front line. There we go. That should help. 
Uh, I don't want to take units away from that because this is hotly contested. You're busy. You're busy. You're busy as well. I think it might have to be one of the armies coming over here. We are so far away from the action. I guess also you're going to attack the furthest point, so... Delete all orders. That's everything in that tree done. Um, I guess... We will learn about uh, close air support on carriers. Sure. Why not? And also we'll expand our dockyard facilities again. we need to be able to support our uh, convoys. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Yeah, that's just a matter of how fast people can move, really. Going so well. Cardiff is being crushed. And then we'll probably just put you on naval invasion as well. We're going to move you out of there for now. Is that being dealt with? Without us? It looks like it might be dealt with without us. Um, we'll probably still need to leave you up here in the Nordic area because we've noticed that we're definitely getting invaded. And our current system for dealing with it isn't working. How much control do we have? Loads of control. Right. Well, that means you get a nuke 
And you get a nuke. And you get a nuke. You get a nuke. You get a nuke. And you get a nuke. We're gonna go all out. More nukes. There we go. And now it's twelve units trapped. dealt with and now Dover which is also going to get nuked you may have noticed a running theme here oh you're not going to get nuked okay And then once you've captured that, we'll put you on a naval invasion. And there's a super heavy tank! Done. Right. Naval invasion from Dover, and I know we wrecked Dover. Wait. Are you gonna invade down here? No. Yes, you were gonna invade here, right. And you know what? Let's go all out. Oh, we're so close to Berlin. Oh, we could do this. Really, we could do naval invasion from here to here, but we've got no control of this sea. Not unless we chuck like a million naval bombers at it. We don't have the manpower for it. Otherwise, I actually would do that. Um... I know it's a bit further round, but if we go for Brittany, we'll just get ourselves in a cul-de-sac. Ooh, nice kills. I think this is our best bet. I'm going to put you on convoy escort as well. And super heavy tank. What's the stats on you, by the way? Four kilometers around. Oh. Wow, that's... That's not so much a super heavy tank, just a movable artillery emplacement. Piercing 146. Armor 145. 45 hard attack. 38 soft attack. Yeah, no, not worth it compared to modern tanks still, especially considering the production cost. 100 versus 28. There. 
Uh, in the meantime, we will research. We're actually just, we're kind of done. We're going to research crappier fire control systems, sure. Look how much progress we've made. Getting so close to Berlin. I'm tempted to extend this line. If anything, yeah, Hungary's been making progress the wrong way. Towards us. That's not on. Do I have two oranges in here? Or is it just one orange goes really far? Yeah, this one orange goes really, really far. Right, that's better. Part of why we're doing so well is this. We had, like, one army just concentrate for three provinces or something dumb like that. That's better. Okay. We've got five invasions coming. You're still holding here. Yep. Mm, kind of making the odd bit of headway now and again. But mostly just holding. You've actually lost a couple of units here and there. I'm going to let that unit come and join you. It might get killed trying to uh, cross, but... Mm. Nothing major in repair right now, actually. Okay, I thought there was more stuff in repair. Ooh, that chromium lack. Ooh. We're going to get a quarter of it from Turkey, and that's it. That's, that's the chromium for the entire world there, basically. Ouch. Yeah, we know more chromium than the entire world can provide. That's why we're going to war. It's chromium issues. We need it for our military so we can take over the rest of the world. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, really. Well, for now, we're going to leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed If you have liked and not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hungary is holding out, but I feel that very shortly, Europe is going to die. I might even stop the assault on this front if it starts to slow down, just to let them get more, more units in position so that we can then go nuts and uh, hit them all at once. Uh, hello. Sorry, Prague. Sorry, Bruno. You're going to get nuked. But for now, I've been at Relissio. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe. But until next time, stay shiny.